Welcome back to Wasteland 2. It has been way too long since I've played this game. It's good to be back. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if I can remember how to play completely. I don't know. It'll probably come back to me. I do remember that I'm in a high pool. I know I've just talked to this douchebag here, Sean Bergen. And I know we need to continue exploring this place and remove any remaining raiders and whatnot. There's actually quite a few things we need to do here. Yeah, I gotta deliver Alexei's note to his soulmate in high pool, whoever that is. Ah, uh, yeah, there's Jess Bell's dowry. Don't forget, April 4th is on that case. Store power to the radio tower. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's right. Kate is in the tunnels under High Pool. Also, I need to protect them from the Wrecking Crew. I've just killed, like, their... The... Uh, I've defeated the Wrecking Crew in High Pool, but I still need to go to their camp. Which is... Here. The Wrecking Crew Stronghold. And go defeat them there. But, uh, let's finish at High Pool before we go somewhere else. So let's see if there's anybody else to talk to. Oh, by the way, I also realized that, um... Uh, Angela has a very bad status effect. Concussion. Yeah, minus one to awareness and minus one to intelligence. Not too good. Can be removed with an appropriate item or by a real doctor. Unfortunately, the surgeon skill, which is used to remove such things, does not seem to work in this case. Apparently I don't have the right item for it. I have no idea what the item is supposed to be, but apparently it's not a basic trauma kit. Because this just heals... That just heals condition. Same with this. Yeah, I don't have anything that would remove status effects, apparently. Well, except for this, but this just removes venom effects. Which is not what she has. So, yeah, I guess I can't cure her. Anyway, see if there's anyone else to talk to. Towny, towny, okay, nothing too interesting there. Is that a... Oh. Little chest is trying to hide from me. Hi. Oh, yeah, and somebody told me, apparently if you hold down Z, it actually displays all intractable items. Which is very, very helpful. Why, why is there just, like, a valve hanging out there? Half-Life 3 confirmed! Alright, this thing's probably booby trapped, but screw it. I don't even know who needs the assault rifle ammo. Eh, whatever, give it to everybody. I know Helen has a massive surplus of pistol ammo, which she rarely ever uses. Oh, yeah, oh, that's for the, right, that's for the radio tower. Need to restore power for that to work, though. And that's to take me back down there. Alright, seems like there's no one to talk to here. Valve. Logbook updated. Find a use for a scorched valve wheel. Wow, that's an actual quest. Find a use for it. I guess it will come in useful then, won't it? Hmm. This small grove of trees is peaceful. Too peaceful. I think I just breathed in the microphone, I'm sorry. Oh shit, his house is burning. I'm sorry. Rangers, you gotta help me! One of the wrecking crew's mortars landed right on my roof. My house is burning down. Please, you gotta figure something out. Ooh, 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 this is probably related to the valve I just picked up, right? I can probably put the valve on the thing and then, like, water comes out and then fire goes away. Am I right or am I right? Ooh, this, yeah, that looks promising. Yeah, that connects to this. This connects to st stuff. Stuff connects to things. Is that missing something? Scarred and burned from the records bombardment. This concrete cover is cracked, but still whole. It looks like there's an outflow gate just above the burning house. Wonder if this could come in handy. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. The valve wheel was blown off by a mortar strike that landed inches away. There's no way to operate the valve without re reattaching it. Okay. 
Oh, please tell me I don't need, like, a mechanic skill to do this. Please. Please. Wait, how do I use it? I just realized that I don't actually know how to use it. There we go. Who's this dude? Oh, it's just a townie. Alright, we got this, man. We got this. You pull hard against it to open the valve, but it won't budge. It looks like some of the inner mechanisms are in disarray. It'll take someone with great mechanical skill to complete the repairs! No! Dude, you're fucked. Angela, you don't have mechanical skills, do you? Nope. We don't have mechanical skills. Can I use computer skills? Can I use computer science? Can I science the problem away? No. Fuck. Whoops. Explosives? Outdoorsman? Fuck. Is there no other way? Well then. I'm sorry. A quiet house? Looks like it got singed in the recent attacks, but it took no major damage. <laughs> hey, where are you going? You gotta put out the fire. I tried! Hold on, can I not, like, just... I, I know this game is focused on giving you multiple pathways to complete stuff, so can I not just, like, blow this fucking thing up? I mean, if I blew it up, it would just burst water out here instead of there, right? So that wouldn't be good. But there's gotta be another way to solve this, right? Right? Do I have any explosives? I'll try explosives. Got some TNT. Alright, let's give it a shot. What? Why do you do that? I don't have you selected, Angela! Yulia! No! Fucking piece of shit. Thank you. <laughs> this is not gonna work. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna load my game. <laughs> It doesn't seem like there's another way to solve this, at least not right here. Bye. Hmm. What the? The outline on the statue seems to be a little bit messed up. It's like a bunch of corrupted green pixels. Anyway. Oh! Skill points. A statue of a man carrying a motorcycle helmet. A plaque on the base reads, Alexi Chucklin, Hero of Highpool. We are forever in your debt. Alexi Chucklin? I mean, Alexi is the guy who gave me the note. Is that that Alexi, or is it a different Alexi? Where's that note? Who got the note? Yeah, a note from Alexi. I can flag it as junk. Well, I can't do anything with it right here, so... Hm. Okay, anybody have enough skill points to do anything cool? Two. I don't want to give her weaponsmithing, because I know she disappears later in the game, so I don't want to focus on her weaponsmithing. What do I focus on, though? I mean, the person I ha actually have doing weaponsmithing is Helen, who is not even close to three. 
Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna do it on... Yeah, I'll just do it on Helen. I'll work my way there. Ooh, you've got two? I definitely don't want to upgrade blunt weapons, forget that. Save up for the next level, level of shotgun? Or demolition? It's either that or start on something new. Now I'm gonna save. So yes, for you, what do I give you? Hmm, I'm just gonna save. Maybe put another point into the hard ass, maybe? Oh. Hello. There are a series of boards here over a hole in the ground. The twisted limbs of two dead trees arch above them, as if trying to shield them from the sun. Entrance to a subterranean cave. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody's been target practicing. Someone's been practice targeting. Let's go. I wonder if this is going to lead me to Kate Preston. Lead me to Kate Preston. Or if this is something completely separate. What the hell tore these guys apart? Not even Red Scorpions deserve this. Oh my. Jesus Christ. There isn't even a body left on that chair. Just blood. And a foot. Yeah, what the fuck happened here? Pew! Is that a... Oh, that's a trap, isn't it? <laughs> Landmine. Okay. Come on, Yulia. This guano smells so terrible, it can make you go batshit crazy. Ha ha ha, guano. Batshit crazy. That's funny. Alright, stick your hands in the shit. What did I expect? I saw guano, I stuck my hands in the guano, and I found... Guano. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take the shit. Alright, so I know this place is trapped, so I gotta be careful. What the hell is the strength to do something like this? <laughs> huh, he was left-handed. Or was it the other guy? <laughs> This guy looks like he was a tough customer. Now he's in four pieces, and chunks of him are sliced like deli meat. His poor saps didn't even get the chance to stand up from their evening can of beans before being cut down. The symbol is not like the others. It was stenciled rather than painted, and looks like two hands worshipping a printed circuit. Oh shit. Two hands worshipping a printed circuit. There's a fucking cult. Yeah, there's a cult. Related to that robot that killed, um... Crap, what was his name? Angela, I forgot your boyfriend's name. What was his name? Ace. Ace was his name. Of course, I knew that. Got another one here. Ah, explosive booby trap. 
Ooh, this one's a little bit harder. Let's back everybody up, huh? Just in case she fails. Alright, we're good. Oh, it's still locked, isn't it? Oh, wow, that's quite hard to pick. You don't have any skill points to spend in lock picking, do you? Nope. Well, might as well try. Chance of success is not great, but the chance of critical failure is relatively low. Ooh. Granadas. Bunch of scrap, too. I mean, I suppose scrap is basically just money, isn't it? Actually, no, isn't it literally money? Yeah, scrap is actually your money, right? Yeah, it is. It, I mean, it says it in dollars, but it's actually scrap. Those are your, uh, your caps. Your bottle caps. Alright, so how much damage do these do compared to, like, TNT? TNT does... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just realized just how much damage that is. 100 damage is a shit ton. And it's got a 4 meter radius. These are really good. Yeah, I keep wanting to give them to Yulia because she is the explosives person, but I don't think it actually matters. Like, I don't think there's a chance to miss with these. I think you just throw them and they just work. So I should actually probably give these to some other people. Uh, I'll give it to people that don't actually have a secondary. <laughs> Yulia has given a grenade to Theodore Flint. Let's hope it still had the pin in it. Yeah, I give the other one to Harper. Or, oh yeah, I'll just give the TNT. Sorry, Harper, I'm saving the good stuff for you, Leon Theodore. Is that an eyeball? But where? Where's the eyeball? I want to see. But um, ch. Yay, batshit. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this batshit. Scorpion key. Used for this. No marks on the safe to suggest anyone tried to force it open. Yeah, so whoever killed these people was only interested in the people and not in money or loot of any sort. Okay, can I use computer science on this, or is this a manual? That's a manual one. Alright, and I don't believe safes are opened with keys. But I shall do my due diligence and attempt to use it anyway. Nope. The muck is ankle deep. Yuck. That's a robot, isn't it? Yep. Alright, make sure I didn't miss anything. Do, 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 do. Nope, we're good. Another fucking robot. Yep. A lifeless robot, seven foot tall, with metal and plastic legs. Arms, torso, and head lies in pieces at the very end of the tunnel. It wasn't torn apart, it was blown apart. There are blast marks on its metal parts, and its plastic skin is melted. The robot must have stepped on some kind of landmine as he entered the tunnel. Could there be more? Yeah, most likely. Such as right there. A tunnel made out of an outflow pipe. Flickering light bulbs are strung along the top of the pipe. And the bottom is floored with a layer of dirt and trash. Yeah, this place is filthy. My god. 
In fact, it's so filthy that the layer of filth is actually poking out of the wall and floating in mid-air, like the static object placed on the ground that it is. It's that filthy. <laughs> is that a toaster? <laughs> Damn it. Massive pile of debris is accumulated at the airlock end of the outflow pipe. You'll have to find another way around if you want to pass. Yeah, I guess I can't even blow this up even with an explosive. Well. Guess that's it for this place. The arm and leg have the same smooth plastic look as the towering robot you found where Ace was killed. Are they related? Once this was a red scorpion hideout, you can see the bedrolls and the charred wood of a campfire, as well as their graffiti on the wall, and a small radio set in one corner. Now, it's a slaughterhouse. The dismembered limbs and torsos of three, maybe four, red scorpion militiamen are scattered around like toys flung by an angry child, and their blood paints the cave walls, floor, even the ceiling. Whatever did this had inhuman strength, and it doesn't look like the scorpions gave up without a fight. There are empty shell casings and bullet holes everywhere. I love all the text descriptions, so much detail. Very cool. There's so much water here. If I could redirect this to that dude's house. <laughs> the sign reads, No Drowning. The cover of this reservoir fell in long ago. Warning signs have been placed all around it to keep people away. None of you bastards better drown yourselves. Oh shit, she's got a scythe. Those fucking wreckers really messed things up around here. Yes, they did. Oh shit, it actually- oh my god, they scripted it so his house actually burns down. That's good. I mean, that makes sense, but now I have no chance. Hey. I tried, but I didn't spend my skill points in mechanical. I'm sorry, Mark. Thanks a lot, Rangers. My house is gone. Everything I own burned down to the ground. What was so important you couldn't stop to help me? Guess all the stories about rangers being dog-killing no... good nicks were true. I don't know what the fuck a good nick is, but... Uh, yeah. We're, we're totally good nicks. Or something. Is that a good thing? I don't know. Hello, James Buntine. Nah, it's a cemetery. Oh shit, can I... <laughs> can I dig up the graves? I bet you can dig up the graves. That's actually something you could do in at least one of the original Fallouts. I can't remember which one. I want to say Fallout 1, actually. I remember there was this whole grave area. And you, you could dig up stuff. And I remember I actually started digging up graves. Not because I really wanted to but just because I was curious if the game would allow me to. And it turns out it did, and if I remember right, when you dig up a grave, didn't it give you a, like a... What's the word for it, like a trait? Or something like that? I think it was a trait or something of the sort. And your trait was like, Grave Digger, or something like that. And I just reloaded my save game, because I didn't want that, like, it, you know, it felt really... really bad to dig up somebody's grave, like, that's really disturbing. I was just curious if the game would allow me to, and it turns out it does. But it does recognize the fact that you did that. And I'm assuming maybe some people would react to you differently? Having known that? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if any of the NPCs would actually know that you dug up a grave. Anyway, James. Don't shoot me, Ranger. 
Oh, okay. I didn't plan to. Too many bad memories. Richard Lovelife. The inscription reads, he loved life until life left him for another man. <laughs> oh my god, you can. You could dig into the grave if you had a shovel. But why would anyone do that? <laughs> oh my god, you can. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to. I will read all of these tombstones, though. Surrounded by flowers and small candles, it's clearly a new addition to the graveyard. The etching, far more elaborate than on any other marker, reads, Jason Vickstrom, poet, Adonis, mayor. Without his inspired leadership, there would be no high pool. Never forget. This grave is more like a pile of rocks with a tire iron embedded in it. Reads, Bobby, gunned down by rangers. No, he wasn't. Go fuck yourself. Or wait, was Bobby the name of the kid or the dog? Because the dog actually was killed by rangers. Because I think it was like rabbit or something. Saint Andre. Beneath it, we hardly knew you. Has the word Rex scrawled on it. Looks like it's been broken many times over the years, but it's been righted and repaired every time. Oh no, that's gotta be the dog, right? Rex? The surface of this gravestone has been worn away, or else no one bothered to write an inscription. I hear a dog somewhere, by the way. Oh, there it is. Garoof! Alright, well, I can attempt to use my one animal whisperer skill. Oh, it's actually easy. Listen to me. Aw. I said listen to me. Garoof. Now placated, the chipper pup pads at your heels. Alright. Um... Uh, what, what do you do? Like, I don't mean to sound rude, but now that I've talked to you, what can you do to help me? Monetarily or otherwise. Garoof. Oh, Alright. Garoof. Are you gonna follow us? Okay, cool. He's only got 18 hit points. Garoof is gonna die so quickly. <coughs> and I can't even dismiss him. Oh my god, look at his image! I just realized that, look at that fucking image. I, I wish I could zoom in on it more. Garoof looks like a being from the lower regions of hell. Oh, hello. Sewer tunnel is closed off by what it looks like a hatch from a submarine. The Hypudlians must use the crane to get it open. So there's no way you could manage it, even with high explosives. Really? I can't just enter? Hmm. I guess not. Chickens. Gonna starve if you can't get the irrigation system working. Don't worry, I'll fix it. I can fix everything. Ooh, trash. I've never been more excited in a game by literally shit and literally trash. Ooh, a big pile of guano! I'm gonna stick my hand in there and see what shit I can find. Oh, I found literally shit. Back in my day, we stuck our hands in shit and we enjoyed it. Ah, oh, 
sniper ammo. Yes. Very much in need of that. In fact, how much ammo does she have? I know it's not much. Two plus the seven that she has already loaded? Yeah. Nine shots. I guess the kids drew that. Who's in that cell? Doesn't look like a record to me. Oh, yeah, there's somebody in there. What the hell? She's wearing interesting stuff. Sort of like, uh... N she looks like a Native American stripper, basically. Like a Native American themed stripper. A cage of steel bars bolted to the platform, with a cheap lock keeping it shut. No guards, no bed, no latrine bucket, no blankets. Nothing but bars and bare concrete. Unfortunately for the woman inside, the bars aren't wide enough to squeeze through. But they are plenty wide enough to throw rocks and mushy apples through. Alright, what the hell's going on here? I want to talk... I don't want to open it, I want to talk to her. Vultures cry. The woman appears to be Native American. She has hard, proud features, and wears worn leather clothes and an assortment of feathers in her hair. I can be of great service to you, noble ones. I am a prisoner here for unjust reasons. A potential party member, ooh. I would ask if you have mechanical skills, but I suppose at this point, since his house is burned down, it doesn't really matter. Are those CDs on our head? Those look like CDs. On both sides of her head. Anyway. Okay, uh, before we get to that, why are you here? A coincidence. The Great Spirit set my path through this town just as it was wrecked by violence. The souls who live here assumed me to be at fault. Alright, sounds like a pretty standard misidentification, misappropriation of guilt. How can you help me? You, I, I know, you already said that. How would you be of service? And she said, I can be of great service. That doesn't answer my question. Oh. Okay, please stop the taunting. No problem. Okay, so, um, everybody better clear out here, or I'm gonna set Garoof on your ass. Laddie. Actually, let's see if we can get Laddie. Oh. Laddie's a hard one. 35% chance of critical failure. Uh, let's not do that. Alright, well, let's take a different tact. If y'all don't clear out, I'm gonna throw a grenade at your feet. Oh my god, her picture. A snotty brat with a cruel streak and an attitude. They breed a mean here in Highpool. Stitched onto the backs of these Juvie's jackets is a patch that reads, Empty V. Hold it, gang. Maybe they've got smokes. Give us some coffin nails. Or Nico Pops. We need a cigarette break. Hmm. I can actually give them the wrist rocket that I found back on that body back there, like at the beginning of High Pool. That's really cool. I don't know if I want to give them a wrist rocket, though, because they're just going to, like, start shooting out people's eyes, probably. Or torturing small animals. But there is a chance they could actually help against the uh, wreckers. So, here, take these. You're so stupid, you're... Wait, that actually sounds pretty rad. Maybe even gnarly. <laughs> One problem. We ain't got no ammo. Well, we'll take the slingshot. But we ain't moving until you find us some ammo. Okay. How about some marbles? <laughs> First good idea you've had all day, dickface. 
Dudes, let's go do some target practice. Oh god. What are they gonna do with it? I'm gonna follow them. What are they gonna do with it? Oh, they're actually... Alright. That's fair enough. They're actually doing real target practice against things that cannot feel pain. I am impressed. I'll only blow up a couple of you with a grenade. The rest have to watch. Alright. Let us converse. Talk to you. you can go... To, there you go. Every time I clicked on her to talk, Helen just kept, like, moving forwards half a foot. Thank you, Desert Rangers. I've heard that your tribe brings justice to the wastes. Then bring justice here, and free me from this cage. I would travel with you, if you would have me. And there is much I can help you with. And you can help me as well. How do you feel about us? Men of honor are as rare in the wastes as the cactus flower. I hope the star you wear means you are such men. Well, I'm not a man, but... Anyway, I get your point. Hypo is holding you unjustly? They speak lies of me. They say I am a spy for the ones you call the Wrecking Crew. I am not. I came not to raid, but to trade. So, you have no affiliation with the Wrecking Crew. They live in the desert, but they are not of the desert. To one who knows the ways, they are easy to track, and easier to kill. What happens if we free you? Free me, and I can guide you to water and safe places that only my people know. I can make the wolf and the bear your friends. Oh, you're a master level animal whisperer, aren't you? Why would we trust you to be our guide? My people are wise in the ways of the wastes. We are tam tamers of animals and diviners of water. We can heal with the plants of the desert and move as silently as the hawk in flight. If you wish, I will share these gifts with you. Who are your people? I'm of the Hare Tribe, the Swift Runners, the Night Leapers, from the lands to the south of your maps. We have much wisdom to share with the people of the Wastes, and much to trade. What do you have to trade? I come bearing seeds from my native land, ready to trade for cargo we do not possess. These seeds are strong. They grow with little water. With them, your lands can thrive again. But though their crops are burned, these water hoarders will not trade. Instead, they call me spy and put me in their cage and allow their juvies to torment me. Almost seems pointless to ask about it, but uh, those juvies are giving you a hard time. Pig-faced little punks. They all need a serious spanking. I quite agree. Crap, did I say that out loud? Ah, oh, hell. So much for the noble savage act. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was a little bit silly. So you're not a noble savage. Hey, I'm still a 100% red-blooded all-American all Native American, just like I said. But all that talking like an 800-year-old wise woman, well, not to be insulting, but you foreigners expect that stuff. I can get double the price for my seeds when I do the whole let me teach you the old ways speech. Who you calling a furriner? If you're not Indio, then your people weren't born here, and that makes you a foreigner. Sorry, Kimosabi. That's just the way it is. Alright, fair enough. What kind of cargo do you need? There are many things we require. Water, livestock, medicine, books. What can we do for you? Well, see, I'm not from around here. My tribe lives beyond the walls of radiation to the south. But a couple months back, the winds shifted, and a low-rad path opened up between our lands and yours. It looked like it was going to be stable, so me and some pals decided we'd come north to trade. It... it didn't go well. We got jumped by raiders our second week here, and my friend... <sighs> I was the only one who escaped. But when I turned around to go back home... The winds had changed again, and the path, it, was gone. 
the way back to my family, my tribe, my kids, just... gone. I hung around, waiting, but it never opened up again, and I didn't know if it ever would. So I decided the best thing I, I could do was see as much of this side of the wall as I could. You know, collect new wisdom to take back to my people. If I can ever get back, of course. Uh, of course, the first place I came here, I came was here, so... Not so much wisdom yet, but I'm hopeful. Which is why I'd like to travel with you. I know it was putting on an act just now, but I really can do everything I said. I can track, tame animals, heal you, help you find water, and I can handle myself in a fight. What do you say? Can I join your party? Hell yes! Come along. Oh yeah, I have to actually unlock it, huh? Let's hope nobody's looking. Now nah, we're good. There's only the entire town around us. Alright. She's got 52 hit points, so it seems like she's about the right level. Let's, yeah, let's see what her skills are. Level... Level... Where, where is it? Oh, level 5. Oh yeah, she's actually slightly higher level than our uh, normal people. Okay, she has... <laughs> oh god, she has no weapons. At all. Alright, that's fine though. I've got plenty of extra weapons. Just depends on what she uses. 20% chance to go rogue. Hmm. That's a lot higher than Angela. That's a really high chance. Gonna have to upgrade Theodore's leadership skill. Which is already at 2. Wow. Okay, that's... Worrying. Anyway. Yep. Oh, wow, she's good at animal whispering. She's a sniper. Perception and outdoorsman. Hmm. I have to admit, I don't like her skills. Actually, I fucking hate them. I'm sorry, Vulture's Cry, but... I already have a sniper, and I already don't have enough ammo for her. Two snipers is just not gonna work. And my other sniper also has the perception skill, so that doesn't matter. Outdoorsman, I don't really care. Animal Whisper is the only thing I care about. I am so gonna ditch you the first time I get a chance to get somebody with a different set of skills. Yeah, that is really not complimentary to uh, what I have. I mean, I guess I'll give her the other sniper? I guess. But I have to give her ammo. Alright, here, here's two shots. There we go. Got to load it up with two shots. Wonderful. Whatever. She can be a distraction. Alright. Let's use her animal taming skill. Oh yeah, she can do that dog no problem. A fine looking poo... <laughs> A fine-looking pooch. I would like to direct your eyes to the image on the right. My friends, this is what a fine-looking pooch looks like. Yes. I'm sorry, did you escape out of Resident Evil? With a curiously intelligent look in his eyes. Oh yes, I see the intelligence. Right, yeah, I see it in those eyes. Look at that. The dog tag around his neck reads, Laddie. Woof, woof. Ruff, gur, woof. Was that Laddie? You can smell Alexi on me? Yeah, not very surprising. Wait, Alexi? Alexi, the. Are you the person I need to deliver the note to? <laughs> What's that, Laddie? Yes, Alexi gave us this note for you. Uh. What? This note's for the dog? Mm. 
What's that, laddie? You want us to take this rock back to him as a reply? What's that, laddie? You'll know what it means? Uh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is taking an interesting turn. A small gray stone. Oh, it looks like it's in the shape of a tooth. Alright. Let's go take it back. The sign reads, no running. Well, too late. Let's end this episode with whatever Alexei's response to this is. And he is... Shit, where is he? Is he here? No, he's further back, isn't he? Isn't he down here? Yeah, yeah, he's here. You freed our prisoner? What the hell? Oh, quit complaining. Whiner. Let's get the doggies on here. Uh, oh yeah. There we go. Alexi said we'll know who the note is for when we see him. Or see them. Wouldn't exactly call that intuitive. Wait, Garouf's here, where's... Where's Laddie? Huh. Run. Faster. God damn it, why doesn't this game have mounts? Give everybody a horse. I'm just kidding, that'd be wildly impractical. It would make sense to have horses for traveling on the overhead map, though. Alright, Alexi. We found your, uh, soulmate. He gave us this. Whoa, a picture's worth a thousand words, man, but this, this is deep. Your souls are pure light, totally brilliant. Right on, man. Hey, Mikasa Esukasa, man. I've got a great stash if your life's path is conjunct. I'm here for you, man. What's in your stash? Whoa. An unusual bow. Oh, it's a trinket. Uh, yeah, I was staring at that. I'm thinking, what the hell kind of a weapon skill uses a bow? And then I realized that none. None of them do. It's not a weapon. Well, it is a weapon, but it's a trinket. So it's not a real weapon? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, nobody has a barter skill, right? No barter skill bonus. Nah. Alright, sell all junk. 817 magic bucks. Nice. Okay. Uh, plus 3% critical chance? That's that's nice, especially for, like, a sniper. <laughs> a sunbrella. <laughs> a fucking sunbrella. Okay, I, I haven't had any problems with water yet, so I don't know if I care about that, but it seems like it's something that could matter. This, I definitely want to buy. That's cool. Oh, okay, so Sutra Kit removes all bleeding effects. Mm, but she has a concussion. That's not a bleeding effect, is it? No. Mid-packs. Do I have anything that would... 
None of us will get rid of her concussion? Shit, maybe I have to go to a doctor. I'll buy one of these just in case. Oh, it's only oh, it's only 15 for each. So all three is only 45. Well, yeah, I'll take them all then. Sure. Don't need medic packs though, I've already got 20. I feel like I should buy the sun umbrella though, because it's obviously a unique item. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> sun umbrella and the unusual bow. Alright, man. You're cool. You're cool. May your journeys be radical. Oh, they'll be filled with rads, don't worry. Okay. So that's the squad canteen, so the trinket would contribute to the squad canteen, right? Hmm, there's no point in you having the Akita figurine when she's the animal whisperer. In fact, I'll just give her it. Give my sniper the unusual bow. Then anybody else can have the water. Or, yeah, sorry, the sun umbrella. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> what was I thinking? I'll give it to Harper. I mean, after all, the sun is his mortal enemy. He does everything he can to keep its poisonous rays from his delicate skin. Including using a sunbrella. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. You know, I just realized I just spent almost an hour playing this game. And I never actually even got into combat. I never got into combat for almost the entire hour. And yet I just had a hell of a lot of fun playing it. That is awesome. That is awesome. An RPG that doesn't need combat to be fun. And to be interesting. That's very cool. Alright, well, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.